These are five fixes for common wardrobe problems. These strings come out so easy, but why are they so hard to put back in? I'm gonna show you how to restring a drawstring. For this first method, use a safety pin or a paper clip. Just make sure it fits in the opening first. Attach the end to the drawstring, just like that. And to make things easier, extend the paper clip out, insert the end in, and start stringing it through. Having the drawstring attached to something rigid makes it a lot easier to string it through. It may take a little patience to work it all the way through, but we're almost there. And voila. And it helps to tie a knot so this doesn't slide back through. Another method is to use a straw. Insert the end into the straw. And to secure it, you can use a staple. These shorts have a larger opening, which makes it easier for the straw method. Easy as that, almost all the way through. There you have it, problem solved. Now that we've got this drawstring in, let's get some wrinkles out. Here's how to remove wrinkles without ironing. Use your dryer on high heat. Then just grab some ice cubes. Then just toss these in. Run the dryer for 10 to 20 minutes. As the ice cubes melt, they'll create steam to release those wrinkles. For a quick fix, that is so much better. And I didn't even need to stand over an iron. Another option is to make your own DIY wrinkle releaser. Let's mix our ingredients. Distilled water, some white vinegar, and some hair conditioner. Or you could use fabric softener. Just gently mix it up. And the conditioner helps hide that vinegar smell. Pour your solution into a spray bottle. No drips. Here we go. Mist your clothes with the wrinkle releaser. Give it a gentle tug. Let that air dry. Now we're dry and wrinkle free. Wrinkles are a mild inconvenience, but what do you do if you have a snag, a rip, or a button falling off? Here's how to prevent those wardrobe mishaps before they even happen. You'll just need one thing to solve those wardrobe problems. Nail polish. Make sure you're using the clear stuff. This will work great to secure loose buttons, as well as small rips on jeans. Once this dries, it'll prevent those fibers from tearing anymore. And if you have shoelaces that have a habit of coming untied, use nail polish on the outside of the laces. Once dry, that'll create more friction, preventing the knots from slipping. That's why it's a good idea to have a little nail polish on hand. You may not have a problem with your laces slipping, but no-show socks slip all the time. Here's how to keep socks from slipping. This one's really easy and you don't need anything special. Just a little bit of water on the ankle will do the trick. That little bit of moisture will keep your sock in place. Another trick is to use lotion. Then put your sock on right away. And if you're sick of tying your shoes, turn them into slip-ons with elastic. Now the shoe slips, but not the sock. Cheers to that solution. Guess we have another problem to solve. Here's how to get rid of red wine stains. All you need is white wine. Just drink it and forget about that red wine stain. Just kidding. White wine is not the solution. Instead, let's make our own DIY stain remover. Add hydrogen peroxide. Next, some dish soap. Baking soda, of course, and mix those three ingredients together. Pour this into a spray bottle. If you can, use a darker colored spray bottle. Hydrogen peroxide is sensitive to light. Right after you get the stain, give it a rinse. Spray in your solution and rub it in with your finger. You can see that color disappear almost instantly. Give it another rinse to get that soap out. And run that shirt in a load of laundry. And as long as you acted quick enough, that stain should come right out. Use these five solutions so your wardrobe isn't a problem. Thanks for watching Problem Solve. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other videos like these two right here.